Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Amy from Team Blown Out Airsoft, and today I'm going to do an unboxing review of my Thompson M1A1. Uh, and the FPS here is 466. That's no joke. It's around 466, if not probably a little bit more. It's full auto and semi auto, and obviously has the safety. Um, it weighs probably around 8 pounds ish, somewhere around there. Uh, it has a mid cap, it's a wind up mid cap uh, magazine. It's fairly nice, it's a really nice quality gun. I got it off of Evike for probably 180, 190. Uh, I've had this gun for about a year and a half now. It's, it's a very, very nice gun. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it. Um, so, yeah, it comes with a, a battery and charger, mag, and the gun. So, yeah, now we're going to start the unboxing. Okay, so here's your wall charger that it comes with. I recommend getting a smart charger just because that they can measure out the exact times and they'll stop charging so you don't overcharge your batteries. It's your 8.4 volts battery that it comes with. Um, then here's your mag. I honestly, it's it's really nice, but you go through ammo fairly fast. That's usually, I have a couple of these. Um, but yeah, and then usually most vests don't carry a stick mag because these are a lot bigger. Like I have a vest, but it only really carries like M4 or G36 style magazines. But it is a uh, wind up. It probably holds like 200, 150 bullets. Uh, so if you could serve it, like if you go single shot a lot, then you should be okay for a little bit. Uh, so wind up, and then the BBs go on the top. There's a little uh, door that opens up. For now, uh, then we got the main gun. Uh, as you can see, it is a replica of the actual M1A1 Thompson. There, the Thompson goes way back. There are multiple forms. A lot of the most popular is definitely the Tommy gun, where it has the grip and the drum mag. Fortunately, that's not that this type. This is a military style oh, M1A1, which is used in World War II. Uh, very popular. A lot of times you'll see officers and GIs with it. But um, here we go. Here you got the mag release right up on, on top of the handguard. It goes up not down. Uh, the safety is here. That's fire. This is semi-automatic and that is full auto. Um, the sights are okay. They're not the greatest. They're kind of small. You have kind of two options. You got the, the top sight where it's really small. It's more for kind of exact things. I tend to use the dot. It lines up better in my opinion. Okay, now the mag isn't like an M4 where you can, it's easy just to, you can just slide it back in. Uh, this, the magazine has grooves on the back side and matches up right here. That's the exact same with any other Thompson. You'll see that on anything. So you simply just match it up and you're good to go. And then you can, I mean, you're lined up. Now, in my opinion, the most, the funnest part about this whole gun is this part. It has no effect on the actual gun. There's nothing inside it. It's not the break. You can do it as many times as you want. It's, it's just really fun to do. Not all Thompsons have that. Like I said, this is an awesome. This is a really good quality gun. The hop up is adjustable. That's right here. It go up, and obviously get higher, high up. Um, you ha do you have sling mounts? Mine did not come with a sling, um, but I, I have extras for my other guns. Usually, I don't really use a sling because, honest, I mean, I don't usually carry a sidearm, so. Okay, um, well that is the Thompson. The, if you guys want to see a shooting test, uh, drop a like below and a comment. Um, and thanks for watching guys.